Okay, so today I want to talk about how do you identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, you guys are in for a treat because uh, this has been one of the topics that uh, we always wanted to cover, but we haven't got to it. So today, uh, we'll show you exactly how do you identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, now if you're new to our channel, uh, our channel we actually talk about Forex trading and uh, we share a lot of insights as to uh, the lessons we learn from uh, not just our own mistakes as well as, uh, you know, lessons that we learn through attending courses from other uh, traders, right? So uh, we release a, a videos almost every week. Um, so if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the button. Okay, so let's get into today's content. Okay, so when it comes to institutional buying and selling, uh, there are two specific things that we look for. Okay, let me just run through with it. Okay, so the first thing that we look on, uh, look at is actually um, the departure of the level. Okay, not to worry, I'll go into this. Uh, let me just type it out uh, so that uh, you're able to see it. Okay, so number one, uh, we look at the departure of the level. Okay. Second thing that we look at is we look at the time span at a level, okay? So these are the two things uh, we look at when it comes to uh, identifying whether there's actually institutional buying and selling at a level, okay? So let me just go through the first one, okay? So the first one is departure of the level. Okay, so when you look at a chart, you have to ask yourself uh, this question. Um, the, Price actually uh, explode, you know, impulsively in a single direction of a level, okay? Now, what do I mean by this? Let me just show you an example over here, okay? Over here, this is actually institutional selling, okay? How do I know? Look at uh, our first factor, departure of the level. Look at how price departed from this level. You have one big uh, bullish and engulfing pattern over here. You have another big uh, candle down and you have another one over here. Okay. If you look at this one over here as well, there was also institutional selling over here. Okay. You look at the, uh, the, the sell down. Okay. So the first factor is departure of the level. Okay. Let me see if I can find you more. Okay, um, this one as well. Okay, after, uh, you know, this uh, over here, you have this big movement. Okay, so the first factor is a uh, departure of the level. Okay, so basically you want to look for uh, explosive price movement uh, of a single direction. Okay, one direction. Okay, just think of it this way. Um, if institutioners are, you know, they are buying or selling very heavily, um, then you won't expect price to, you know, uh, stay there, you know, be, uh, you know, constipated like this, for example, over here for a long time, right? You expect the movement to be explosive because, uh, you know, they are buying or selling in very uh, big volume. So you expect price to, you know, move very fast in this case. You realize that price doesn't even bother to do a pullback. It doesn't even sell down and pull back. It just starts selling down uh, nonstop, right? So that is uh, the first factor, which is the departure of the level, okay? The second factor that we look at is actually time spent at a level, okay? So if you can look, look at this uh, case study over here, or rather this uh, region that I highlighted, okay? You notice that... Uh, it's consolidating for one candle, two candle, three candle, four candle, it starts selling down. Okay, as a general rule of thumb, let me just write it. Just a moment. Okay, as a general rule of thumb, you want there to be less than uh, six candles. Six candles or less. Okay, so if you see, for example, um, let's say you look at this region here. It's kind of like a mess, right? Because this entire consolidation here, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so, so many candles, you know, depends on how you count it. But uh, either way, no matter how you count it, uh, it's still more than six candles, okay? 
uh, one more thing to also note is that uh, maybe I'll just add it here. The other factor that uh, we also look at is you want tight body candles. Okay, uh, basically means you want a tight range. So if you look over here, okay, uh, you realize that the candles are relatively small. The range, right, the whole range of uh, this consolidation is rather small and tight, very uh, compact versus uh, this here. Okay, and if you compare the departure of this level, uh, it's very weak. Okay, it's very weak. This is very uh, compact, tight, and you see the, 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 the effect of this. Okay, so that's how uh, you identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, uh, maybe let me just go through some more examples so that uh, you have a better idea of uh, what um, institutional buying and selling looks like. Okay. So uh, maybe I'll use the day chart. Okay, this is uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, look over here. This, my friends, is institutional buying. Okay, so let's go through the factors again. The first factor is uh, we are looking for a strong departure. So ask yourself, did price depart strongly from this? Definitely. I mean, if you look at this departure and you tell me that this departure is weak, uh, there's something wrong. Okay, this is definitely a very strong departure. In fact, there is all bullish candle. There is not even a single bearish candle. Okay, so this over here is uh, kind of like uh, where the institutional buying started. Okay, so you kind of see strong impulsive move uh, in one direction. Okay, look at the time span at this level. This is just a single uh, candle. In this case, uh, we're on a day chart. So this is just a single uh, candle, okay? And, and then you have a nice engulfing pattern over uh, this, uh, this bearish candle, okay? So you look at the departure. So this is a very strong institutional level. So definitely if price comes back here, I'll be very keen to buy because this is a very strong level, okay? If you compare this to maybe movements like this, okay? Uh, it, you see that this it's you know it's really uh, it's a long doji right and it's uh, not compact and you know uh, these are levels which are not very you don't really see uh, much institutional selling over here okay so let's go through more examples okay so uh, if you can look at uh, over here Over here, okay, this is also another good institutional buying level. So same thing as always, look at the departure, one candle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight candles of consecutive buying, okay, that's eight days, okay, eight days is almost two entire trading weeks, right, because one trading week is about five days. So it is, is, is about, you know, it's almost two weeks. So that's a very strong buying, okay? And the time span over here is only an hour, uh, sorry, not an hour, a day. So this is a very strong level. So look, what happened when price came back to uh, this institutional buying level, right? It, it, it had a bounce, right? So this is how you identify, once you identify institutional buying, or selling level, you want to look for clues to uh, enter the market at that level, right? Because it's a very strong level, okay? Uh, but please do not just, uh, you know, take what I say out of context and just, oh, oh, um, this in institutional level, I'll just buy it here, okay? Uh, this is just helping you identify levels, okay? It's not a trading strategy on its own, okay? Um, a trading strategy has to be more, um, it has to be more complete. You must have your entry rules, you must have your exit rules, okay? If you need a trading strategy, uh, check out the uh, day trading guide that I have for you uh, in the description below, okay? What I have prepared for you is a free day trading guide that works, okay? It's totally free, it uh, has a lot of value, it gives you the strategy, it teaches about candlesticks, it has a candlestick pattern cheat sheet, right? Uh, if you're new to trading, definitely download uh, a free copy of it it's totally free right i do not charge you a thing for it okay 
and hopefully you get some value from it. Okay, so I'll just go through one last example. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do a bearish one since I have been doing a lot, a lot of bullish examples. So uh, in this case, okay, look at this over here. Okay, you can see same thing. Look at the selling involved. One candle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If, if you count all the way to here, it's 13, 14. But I mean, you get the picture. It's a very, very strong selling, okay? This is definitely the work of uh, institutional traders, okay? One more point to note about this particular case uh, example, it's actually, price actually did a fake out of uh, this high here. Okay, let me just uh, draw it for you, okay? So, um, sorry, let me just... Right, you see price did a very strong bullish breakout of this level only to sell back down, okay? So this is what is commonly known as a fake out, okay? Institutional players love this, okay? Because for you, to, for institutional players to make money, you have to lose money, okay? You have to understand that um, the Forex market or any market, right, be it the stock market, the commodities or the index, it's all a zero-sum game. So what do I mean by zero-sum game? What I mean by zero-sum game is that for you to make money, someone else must lose money, right? So for the institutional players to make money, they must sell it at a price that you're willing to uh, sell it at, right? So if you are, you know, you, you, you know, as a retail trader, you are buying this breakout, then technically you are selling it, selling Aussie dollar to the institutional traders. And that's how the institutional traders actually load up on their positions at the best price, okay? It is possible to catch this high, okay? Though it requires a lot more skill, and that's the, not the topic for today. But I mean, since we're at, at it, I'm going to explain to you about it, okay? But anyway, uh, this is actually institutional selling, okay? And as you can see again, the departure is just one, it's, it's just phenomenal, right? You don't see price, you know, you know, like consolidating up and down over here before it starts selling down. It just sell down immediately. Okay. So uh, the other thing you also note is that uh, this time is actually one candle here only. This is kind of like a piercing pattern and then it starts selling down. So as I said, so it doesn't really consolidate, it just sells. So that's a very strong level. So what's interesting is that when you move to the right and look at uh, the charts, you realize that the spike high when price went back here, it almost touched uh, this level. Okay, if you draw it to cover uh, this candle body here, and you pull it, you know, pull it here, you realize that uh, price visited that level uh, almost to the point. Okay, and then it starts selling down again. Okay, so again, I'm going to uh, reiterate, right? This is not a trading strategy on its own. So please do not uh, just say, oh, I learned from this guy on YouTube, you know, they call themselves uh, experts and, you know, they say that, oh, this is the institution is selling and I'm, I'm going to sell here. No, guys, do not trade like that. Okay, if you trade like that, you are going to blow your account. And that's not what I want for you. Okay, so uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment below. Uh, we'll try our best to address it. Okay, and if you have not downloaded your free trading guide and you're not part of our Telegram channel, uh, do that. Okay, uh, these links are in the description below. It is all free. Okay, until then, we'll see you in the next video.